Meanwhile, the Central Bank of Nigeria said that it will eliminate the multiple exchange rates regime in the country. CBN Governor Godwin Emefile disclosed this recently while confirming plans for unification of exchange rates. The plan to eliminate the multiple exchange rates regime was similarly indicated by the Minister of Finance last week in a document which stated that the government over the next 12 months would seek to unify the exchange rates to generate more Naira from its foreign inflows and manage the rate in a sustainable manner. Joining us live now to discuss this is Dr. Austin Anyogu. Good morning, Dr. Anyogu. Yeah, good morning. Thank you for joining us. Um, financial analyst, as a financial analyst, what would you say is the difference this time? If I recall, this is not the first time CBN has promised to uniform the exchange rate. Uh, well, it's um, a very interesting development uh, because um, we've had a series of distortion in our exchange rate at the country. As a mono economy, we, we need to harmonize our internal, um, we, are, we need to harmonize our internal exchange rates that will actually foster uh, uniformity in terms of our pricing system and strengthen our dollar, our, our Naira. Now, the, the, the truth is that we've actually tried something like that, you know? But what we did last time, I think during Abacha's time, we, what Abacha did was to peg, you know, the in, in interest rate at 22 Naira to a dollar. And ma many of us were skeptical uh, how we would survive. But we were able to sustain that interest rate um, for a very long time. So if CBN is coming right now to unify uh, or eliminate a multiple exchange rates, I think is a, is a, is a development that is, that is highly welcome. Mm -hmm. Because we will not be able to um, have a, a more robust statistics. We'll be able to plan better. You know, and then we'll also cut off um, people who make money as of these uh, distortions and multiple exchange rates. Mm -hmm. So to me, it's, um, it's a good development. Right, because I was just going to ask you, what is the implication of this move to, you know, Buru de Change operators? Well, uh, the, 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 the truth is this. Buru de Change operators may have helped the, the Nigerian economy in terms of disseminating of foreign exchange. But there have also been many corners that have been caught. Mm -hmm. You know, they have also brought about distortions in our pricing system. You, you find out that some of them will hold to create scarcity so that uh, it will force the prices of dollar high at the detriment of the local currency. So when we have unified uh, exchange rate, it simply means that Every bureau the change will have their own margin determined, just like you have in stock exchange. You know, for, for every stock sold or for every stock uh, purchased, the, the, the broker uh, income is determined and is regulated. So there will be a better regulation on bureau the change. You know, I remember some time ago where we were speculating about selling an our, our, our uh, um, selling dollars to uh, people who are going for, uh, um, what's it called, uh, Christian pilgrimage or Hajj uh, pilgrimage and all that. But this time, everybody understands what the exchange rate is. Well, whether you like it or not, it will strengthen the Naira. You know, it will make Naira more meaningful, you know, and also not um, a, a useless uh, uh, note. Dr. Anyago, would there be sanction of black marketers, or how would a, a round tripping be curbed? Well, obvious, there, there are also be sanctions. Obvious, there are also be sanctions. But the, the truth is this uh, whether we, we like it or not, 
Uh, people will always want to circumvent or have, want to go around the, the, the system. What matters most is monitoring. What matters most is awareness, creating the awareness so that even those who are selling at, at an exchange rate that outside the recommended exchange rate will definitely know that they're doing the wrong thing. And those who are also buying, they will also know they're doing the wrong thing. But the truth is this, there goes to be an artificial scarcity. So if the, 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 the burden is on Central Bank of Nigeria to um, tighten the loose ends and then also ensure that there's availability of forests at that rate to dissuade the, 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 those that cut corners and run free. Mm -hmm. You know, so CBN really needs to come hard on any defaulter and also ensure that it is readily available. Mm -hmm. Because what, what pushes price up or down is availability and the forces be, uh, between demand and supply. You know, and I, need, I, I, want, I, I want to believe that CBN will really come, uh, come handy in, in curbing uh, sharp practices. Now, uh, th th there could be those who have been stockpiling Forex as an investment strategy. What do you say to them with this new development? You know, my, uh, in every decision, in every financial decision, some lose and some win. They're highly speculative. You know, so if you have speculated and you have piled up you know, for Forex, then you, it's, it's also... The function of um, at what at what rate? What is your average rate? What is average cost of uh, cost of uh, piling up those dollars? You know, so we 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 are, we are yet to understand what will be the fixed or the unified rates for now. Mm -hmm. We also understand that um, we, we we cannot unilaterally fix the exchange dollar. It, it, it is a function of. What, what is our balance, uh, um, what's it called, um, trade balance? And how much is, is, the, is the net attracting the dollar, you know? So if you have piled up dollars, I mean dollars, and the exchange rate comes to your favor, fine. So if you're also piled up and it comes against your favor, you, you, you cut your losses. So it, it's, it's a speculative business. And then at this situation that we're facing COVID, COVID-19 uh, situation is highly volatile because if most, most international trades are slowed down now. Uh, people, uh, ports are not open, trades are not being carried out. So you're actually taking a very big risk in a in highly volatile and speculative um, uh, situation. All right. You, you yeah. talked about artificial scarcity, Dr. Anyogu. What yeah. should be done in terms of proactive measures, even as we face this new development? Well, well, you see, that is why I said that the CBN really needs to come hard on this. Nigerians are very smart people. Mm -hmm. Nigerians are, are very knowledgeable. We have so many people who have worked in the banks. So the CBN needs to come and make it available at the rates that they have said it will be sold. That is the only way you can neutralize the effect of artificial scarcity. Because once you create a room for scarcity, it simply means that those that you said have piled up will lure people to buy at their own rates. And people will be exploited again, you know, and that is one. Then two, there must be stringent control over how um, money, uh, foreign exchange is uh, received. So that if you're, if you're paying for services abroad, it has to be enrouted through CBN. Every, every dumb account holders must be accountable to CBN so that there will be harmony in the economy. Right. Having said that, again, you know, the question for us will be how much of information do we have, especially for the ordinary man, the average Nigeria, you know, in the face of this new development? How do we understand the gains? I mean, for a financial analyst, yes, it's quite clear, but for a, an average businessman, how should they understand and take this? Okay. 
In, in, you know, I started by saying that CBN has to come to inform us, uh, disseminate information vividly, let people know the gains of um, of uh, this 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 policy. Now, for ordinary man, I'll, I'll, I'll simply go ahead and tell them that um, it's it's going to be a a better a, a better economic planning for them. The budgeting will be more clear. Uh, speculativeness will have been removed. There will be price, the price index will be more stable, and then um, there will be uniformity. And they will, they, it will it will it will gradually eliminate the effect of inflation. Because when you buy dollar at a, at a distorted rate, it means you'll be, you'll be selling or you'll be producing at distorted rates. So I, I, I think um, unified or eliminating multiple exchange rates will really have business, you know, so that we, 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 the, the, the lower players, the big players, the middle players, who have a, a, a level playing field. You know, because everybody is getting it at a source, everybody is getting it at a particular rate. We are, we are, we are putting it on productions. Our prices will be more stable. Distortions will be reduced. We will be able to plan better. And then um, we probably will have a better economy in terms of stability. Mm -hmm. Financial analyst, uh, Dr. Anyongo, thank you so very much for your contributions this morning. Thank you for having me.